Welcome back guys. I just um, look at my last video and thanks for all the feedback and all the positive comments. Um, I've now got a progress with the carbine on the on the trolley and I'm going to see how the I've already tested out the front. About to start night shifts so I figured um, I've done my shopping this morning. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, all organized so I'm thinking I might do, do a little bit of sanding. So I've um, I have to do inside this boot in here, all up in there. I want to paint that burnt orange. I want to get in this parcel shelf, all up in there. There's there's supports here, up in there, and I need to sand all up in here, all up in these areas, because uh, the floor this place basically the floor pan from this part forward right up to the firewall is going to be black. And, um, yeah, just, I'll just, yeah, scuff it all up, get it all ready for a coat of poly. Um, I'll probably, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I should give it a coat of poly, I'll just, yeah, probably will. I'll give it a coat of poly. Give it a good coat of primer that I can get. It'll be a good, um, surface for priming then, uh, for painting. So, I'll get into it. I'm inside the boot, the coop. And um, going over all these little areas where um, where there's welds and just different little things to pick up. But I'll just give you a, a quick little look. Uh, I'll start with this rear panel. It's hard with the light, but yeah, this rear panel. Um, this is all original. So this is the original rear panel. The bottom section here. Anyone who's um, seen me previous videos have seen this. It was um, completely rusted out along here. So you can see with this. I joined across the, right across the bottom here. This is a rare spares beaver panel. Um, take that off. Yeah, they've got these supports. Um, and you can see um, all across the bottom here, that's rare spares. You can see the custom garage arches here is joined up there. Um, go across the other side, same situation. You can see this side here had severe damage from. Um, from had like side swipe so yeah same with this side regards to the section of stuff from rare spares but what I'm doing now I'm just I've got these um these sanding pads so it's all been epoxied in here but I'm just scuffing it all up I think this is meant to be like the color of the car but I'm thinking I might just leave this black leave this black and then I'm gonna have from this point forward Right through to the start of the floor pan I was showing you before. Have that burnt orange. Have all up in here burnt orange. Um, you can see where this car I've had it's got a it's got a chassis. This whole right hand chassis is out of a sedan. So you can see a bit of a support there for the seat. But the other side hasn't got it, so yeah, that's got to come off. That's for a uh, four-door, I think. So you can see um rather than just taking the, the chassis out separately, I've just cut up a uh, section out of the floor which is rusted anyway i'll just put this section completely so there's a joint across here um all this is rare spares uh but yeah there's a lot of welding this was all rusted out all up in here it's pretty bad um so what i've done i've taken out these arms for the boot and the, the right and the rods um they're gonna have to get painted separately but what i'll do now i'm getting filler where this has all been the spot welds have been drilled out and just filling all those little areas up in there. So yeah, it's um it's coming along really well. This is like the fiddly stuff, but I've got the tools for it. So I've got got this Ryobi one 18 volt sanding. That's unreal for getting the tight areas, and it really takes the meat off quick. And I've got this super cheap auto portable sander, which is really good. I've got a backup battery, so I don't get left uh, with that battery. So um. Yeah, just got to go over it and I don't know what the go is there. Yeah, getting there. But I, once I've got this, what I'm thinking I'll do, still got to have a, oh, close to a couple of hours to um, to work on this. So once I'll send these, send this stuff back um, and then, yeah, up in here, I had to remake all this. This was badly rusted. Um, send all that back and then I'll, I'll get the masking tape and tape off areas that I don't want to get poly on. And um, yeah, I'll get it ready to um, yeah, give it give it a coat of poly, and then yeah, because I think there's um, 
there's supposed to be rain coming. So better off getting this poly crap done now. That way when I've got days off again, I can, if I can't do anything more painting, I'll continue with a floor pan up here and a sanding and getting it ready for um, a coat of black paint. So I've got a black paint there on, under the bench. But um, I'm thinking, um, talking to do this to this morning on Facebook and um, yeah, I think I'll go the Raptor underbody sealant. So I'll, I'll, I'll have, that'll be in this video. So um, yeah, I might get that over the weekend and see if that weather's holding up. Um, either, either do the floor pan or do the um, the Raptor underbody protectant. Either way, it's um, it's getting freaking close to uh, to painting this car like weeks away now, depending on um, what sort of drums I've got. No, the Escort is ready to go to, to get Dino Tune, and um, I had to cancel a couple of weeks ago because um, yeah, he cancelled for me. He got COVID the tuner, so he's probably ready to go again now. But I'm holding off because I just don't want to take the car to him and then have something go wrong and this car grinds to a halt once again. So. I'm holding off. The only person who's got a problem with this is my son who keeps hassling me. Dad, when are you get that escort going? I'm going to take your mates to run in it. <laughs> Just a rare spares Auto 1 in Gate Sydney. And I've just bought the rear Valance Suit GT for the coupe. I've got this stuff here. Underbody seals. I'll do under the car this weekend because they forecast rain. So, yeah, all good. Got a bit, got a bit of history in this area. I used to be a uh, general duties police officer, Black Quarry, and I remember just over, over behind this building, there used to be a Ford dealership, and they turned into a, they turned into a bit of a warehouse, and then it went derelict, and there was this bloke who was living in there renting it, and he had a lot of stolen property in it. I remember going through and seeing all the old. Old Ford stuff in there, like old hoist locations and this machinery and stuff is unreal. Yeah, so I'll head back home now and that's it for the day. Just got home from Newcastle. Just avoided a major accident. This um, traffic ground to a halt on this in this 110 zone. And this uh, truck was um, caught in traffic for a while. This truck was on the side and all these cars jammed up next to it because it started pissing down rain and looks like... Um, I know something's happened, all these cars all jammed up beside this truck, not good. Good thing I stopped for fuel. So yeah, hopefully everyone's alright. And uh, yeah, so I've got this rear Valance. So um yeah, I'll open this box up and have a look at it. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh yeah, money well spent in my opinion. Let's see how it looks on the other side. Oh yeah, no, nothing put in there for that. This pressed coat of paint, sold. But all this is straight, so, so yeah. Cool, no worries, we'll see how it fits. At first it didn't look like it fit well, but once you push down on it and get it in place. Yep. Yeah, so, really good. So much has happened to this car. Look at that. Wow, that keeps cool. Beastie. Yep. Nice addition to Falcon Hardtop. So that part of it's just saved me a lot of time. So I'll have to put nut certs in these ends. <coughs> I've just got bolts there, just a bit of a test fit. Um, but because of this, it's Friday now, it's going to be raining all weekend they reckon, and tomorrow's going to be really bad, so I'm going to have to reverse what I spent three hours doing on my last day off. And because it's too wet, all I can really do is sand, but I don't want to go sand the whole car down. So... I could take the doors off, the guards off, um, all that stuff. But what I'm, I really like having this car back together like this. I just like looking at it. But what I'll do tomorrow, I'll have to put the car back on the rotisserie, flip it on its side, get sandpaper, scuff up all the epoxy under the car, 
and put this on. So I've got that and I've also got this little kit along with it. So yeah, tomorrow we'll um, put the Raptor underneath this car because I don't think the weather, it's not going to set obviously very well in this cold weather, but at least I can just, hopefully I'll have to look at the instructions to make sure, but at least I can put the Raptor on it, underneath it. Um, hopefully I've got enough. One of my mates, well, but one of my old workmates just put some in his four-wheel drive and his tray back and he said he's got one bottle left. I can get that off him if I need to. So I want to do underneath it. I was thinking about doing it in the floor, but I'm thinking what I might do first. I'm going to sand the floor back. That's another job I might be able to do over the weekend. And um, I was thinking about putting a bit of poly on it just to seal it up a bit. Then I can just, I was just going to paint it black. It's a black two pack. Um, and yeah, it's really happening now. Everything's come along good. I've been looking into the the body line for the GS Stripe, and what I'm thinking about doing is actually buying a GS Stripe off the internet and then taking it in. And I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get it so that rather than just having a, a stripe on the car, I'll paint it on. So I'll get a stencil made. By like a, a signage shop, so I can paint the GS stripe on it. But yeah, I'll have to get the burnt orange. I'll have to get the burnt orange paint the next week or so. So I'll get ready to give her a coat of paint. But yeah, I've got time off coming up, but hopefully the weather holds up. Um, yeah, because yeah, I won't be able to paint the conditions like this. Way too wet today to do anything really. Just sand. All I can do is sand, which I have plenty of that to do. So um, I've got this Raptor stuff here I opened the box up and pretty straightforward I was researching last night ways of applying it so you got the roller method or you've got um, or you've got the spray gun so I'm looking at reading up on the, the facts and that they reckon yeah you can um you can reduce it up to 20% so I think they say you use like a multi-purpose thinner so I was thinking to save yourself a crap load of time rather than using the roller even though I bought it um, probably find another purpose for it but I'll um I use I've got this spray gun over there it's got a two and a half uh, mil fluid tip um so yeah it should be um really good for putting it on really quickly but yeah today's not the day for it it's just too damn cold and it's wet humidity's 100% so yeah won't do any YouTube videos today I'm just going to be sanding 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 and it's basically raining tomorrow. Then I'm back on day shifts, two shifts as of Monday. So, and then I think Wednesday is going to be an okay day, but then Tuesday it's going to be raining. Uh, sorry, Thursday it's been raining. So, yeah. And then I think Friday's rain too. So, it's absolutely horrible weather for doing anything with um, painting and stuff. But that's the way it is. Can't do anything about it. Now I've got all the panels off the car or my bedroom. I was concerned about the fumes that might be present coming off the polyester because it's got like epoxy stuff in it. So it gets like a two pack, it gets pretty fumey until it completely goes off. Um, so you've got it in my bedroom and yeah, there's a little bit of a smell there, but it's nothing bad. It's just like fresh coated when you paint your inside your house and you've got that bit of a bit of a smell left behind. So now I've got the car down to spare bones, having a coffee. Um, such a miserable day, really. It's a sort of pushing myself a bit today, not really feel motivated, but um, this crap load of sanding to do. So, um, yeah, I was on Facebook last night, and I'm looking over the photos I've got of um, all the coupes, the coupes that have, like, look at the different style lines and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, I was getting ideas about where, what areas you paint, and um, come across this post, and this bloke, Adam van der Linden, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but yeah, he's a really good fabricator and he makes a lot of the, he makes rear quarters, makes door skins, boot skins, yeah, he's like an absolute genius, comes with these cars and making stuff for him and I started talking to him about um, the body line of the door on my car, so the bottom body line, I'm a bit funny, funny about how it is and he said they slightly, the body line slightly goes out, where mine slightly goes in. So what I think I'll do before I put the doors back on the car, I'm going to put the doors on stands, get in the reflection and really look at it and see what I can do. I might be able to put a little bit more 
more filler on that line and build up a bit maybe. I don't know. I'll see how we go, but it's just absolute dog shit weather for doing anything. It's totally frustrating. Pushed myself to um, do anything today. I just pulled these panels off and I just, yeah, that felt do anything. Um, so, um, my son's got his mates come out here soon. So they're going to be chilling out, but because the weather's so miserable, uh, not going to be able to do much. So I think I'll just go to KFC and get him some for lunch and yeah, I'll just keep chipping away at this and see what I can do with it. But yeah, there's, there's a heap of sand, heaps of sand to do. So I shouldn't really, um, sort of, uh, stuff I can do, even though the web is crap. The boys are here. Aaron, I'm going to ask you a question. What's better, the Toyota Land Cruiser or the, this patrol? What would you want to see? What would you Toyota. prefer? Toyota any day. Toyota? <laughs> any day of the month. <laughs> right. I would not choose any other car. Uh, oh, let these go. You can go rip up. My chuck. Yeah, yeah okay. the nature strip. Uh, Stuff uh, road. Being flat out busy trying to um, use these sanding pads to really get in there and get into all these tight areas, all the parcel shelf, all up in here, up in these areas here, right up in the firewall. Um, yeah, a lot of work. Eh? Just try and take the gloss off it, and then once the gloss off it, you got to um, yeah, you got to take the um, like get it clean too, so you can suck the sticks to it. So there's a bit of rust underneath. The battery tray i've got a new one for it um so it's a little bit pitted so i'll just put a bit of filler on that um just it's already been seam sealed but i had welds addressed back where i had the frame on it when i was doing the inner and outer um seals obviously the the car was um very fragile so i had to support it so i had to dress them back um it's all going pretty well it's just yeah it's time consuming but i think what i might do now i might for all the worlds are in here, I might it's already been scuffed up and I might give it another hit. Um, and then I'll put a bit of filler in there just to fill her up a bit. But, um, yeah, it's coming good, going along really well. And where this butchered hole was, where that butchered hole was, I just used used a stepper drill and I just bloody ran that in there. And yeah, now it's got a clean, normal hole, so I can either just probably got a hard rubber grommet kit, I'll just put a grommet in there. Um, but I'll get to the point where I'll get to the point where I um, won't go much further, and I'll flip the car over. I'll put it back on the rotisserie and flip it upside down. Then I can um, start scuffing up, scuffing up underneath. The, um, the rain's actually stopped for the moment, but yeah, the humidity be high still, so yeah, it's just not. It's a bit cool too. It's only like 14 degrees, so not really ideal for any sort of paints or anything. So. Sunday Father's Day. I've got my son with me. He wants to earn some money. So uh, he's going to help me with a coop today. So um, what I'm going to do now, because it's such cold weather, there's not a lot I can really do in regards to like painting and stuff. So I've sanded the inside of the car. I've sanded the parcel shelf. I've sanded back the engine bay. I've put filler in it and all this sort of stuff. Um, I went digging for any parts and I've got this rare spares battery tray. So that simply just goes on there like so. Bolt holes line up. Um, I think there's some sort of support that goes under it, but based on the condition of this car, yeah, I'd say it would have been tossed out with the rust and that. I'll probably go through the paddock where I've got a heap of the rust to pass it uh, the, down there and see what I can find, but I'll see. Rare spares. I had like a rare spares last night on their site, just look at XB parts. And there's like 1,100 items, so yeah, it took, I was on it for a good hour, and I couldn't get through it all. Um, so yeah, now what I'm going to do now, I've got my son with me. He's super, he's super keen to earn money. Yep. <laughs> he's super keen to earn money, and he's, he's also keen to get see this car on the road. So what better way to get the car done sooner than um, getting help? So what he's going to do, he's going to help me move crap out of the road, make room, put the car back in the rotisserie, so that way we can flip the car on its side, then we can both hook into it and use all those sanding sponges and scuff the paint up and get ready for this wrap tour. So, um, yeah, you ready to work, mate? Oh, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> right Amazing how much quicker it is when you get help, so I've just got him sanding this end. 
getting all those nooks and crannies. So I'll do the bottom half. I'll start from the other end, but I'll do the bottom half. And they'll probably flip it over. Or maybe it's easy enough just to stand up. So yeah, cooking. I think the temperature is good. So um, I think now's the time to give this thing a coat of poly. So my son's finished helping me um, scuff it all up, and it's a shitload of work. But when you got two hands on the job, and I've got the I drill metal wire, um, metal wall on it, buddy, steel head on it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it's all scuffed up, all critical areas that I don't want paint on or protected. Um, See, so yeah, I'm looking at the instructions. It says, yeah, they want it to be at least, well, for 20 degrees, it takes one hour between coats. Um, and they've got a, a, a mixture here. So if you use this type of gun here, it's a good... Um, gravity feed gun so it's got a 2.5 fluid tip on it so yeah I shouldn't have to thin it too much this will just flow it on really good it's going it's good it's own little regulator got off eBay so it's a little cracker cheap shit so it does the job so got the Raptor ready so I've got plenty there I don't think I'm gonna use that much I reckon I probably do probably two of these I reckon so I'll give it a coat now I can have a coat now maybe coat later on but the weather's bloody smick the humidity's dropped right off, temperature's great. Um, so yeah. You just don't know with the weather, it just chops and changes all the time. So you just gotta take up tuny and when everything all the conditions are right, get into it. Cause once I um yeah, once I give this a good good go over, I can flip it back over and then I can um yeah continue doing areas. But I think I'll leave it on the rotisserie now. Leave it on there a little bit longer and just do all the areas I need to get to. But yeah, paints, paint's going to happen real soon. I'm going to start painting areas that are ready for paint. So um, I reckon I'll make a trip to Auto Lacquer next week and buy all the burnt orange paint. And yeah, go from there. So right, I'll get this thing fired up and see how it comes out. Yeah, I was seeing um, how much I could get away with um, not adding much thinner. So I added a multi-purpose thinner. And yeah, it needs its full 20%. So um, I think the secret is you've got to put it on sort of slow. You can't rush it. So I've temporarily got my respirator off just to show you guys I can talk for all. So I usually do this with my right hand. But so when I put it on, got this bloody light behind me. It's not going to work for me. Got a reflection. So I've got it like this. So I'll start putting it on now. So you get to flow it on, comes out really glossy. But if you put it on slow enough, you get that ripple effect like that. So I'm going to concentrate on getting that. It's a bit hard to do at the moment because, um, yeah, because I'm holding the camera. But yeah, so I'll, go, I'll give it one good coat. But I reckon it's one of those situations where you put one coat on, by the time you finish doing one end of the car, you're almost going to be ready to do the other end. So yeah, I'll keep going with it. The temperature's good. So yeah, a good hour from now, and I'll be putting the second coat on. Hopefully, put three coats on. On the solo, <clears throat> wrong. Um, Tui's, Tui's, is it Tui's gold? Um, yeah, so I've given it the first first coat, and this takes ages of this spray. And obviously, you get a, um, even it's got a two and a half mil fluid tip, it's still very slow, but yeah, it does the same thing. You see what flashes off, it sort of goes a matter of a bit of a matte, matte black. I really put it on thick under here because that's where all the rocks are coming up obviously um but yeah that's the first coat i just need to get up in this area but i've i forgot to tape off so it's going to go off and go in places that i don't want to go so i'll get let this flash off a bit more it's been about 45 minutes since i started so i'll give it some time and i'll i'll start um taping the other ends of that so i'll get in there but i really i really need to um paint all under these areas but I just can't do it I've run out of I've almost ran out of my masking tape I've only got this expensive tape and I'll just leave for now like yeah I've got most of the work done that's the main thing underbody protection anyway job completed right as I finished would have been about five ten minutes past and it started raining it's like it's so unpredictable I looked on the radar there's nothing Started painting it and it's probably, you know, two half hours later and rain starts coming. It's like You can't freaking win this weather. It's so all over the shop. So uh, But it's already um It's already touched dry Look at that 
nothing. So it goes, it flashes off real quickly. Sick of that camera zooming in. Um, but yeah, you see where I've, I've taken the master tape off. So from this point here, forward is burnt orange and then there. So what I've done though, I, I made a, I took advantage of the, of the roller. So there's a new one. I had it, shit, don't want that in there. So I used the roller and I used that. I done, I done a coat with the spray gun and then I went over it. But you look at the wrinkle sort of effect it gets. It's awesome. So obviously we only get rocks flying up in the guards and potential to chip the sealant and then um, start rust or noise, whatever. Um, so I've put a generous coat using the roller in there. Um, on the other side, and then I got in here, and I put it generously. The light doesn't help in the background. Um, but yeah, you can see it, I put it generously in there because you can have rocks flying up. But um, but yeah, it's sort of, once it flashes off, it gets like a, like a matte, sort of, uh, sort of matte sort of finish on it. It's not a, it its gloss. So um, yeah, it's really good. It's probably more like a satin. But yeah, it's um, hopefully it sets like rock. So I only used, I used, so I've got two left, but I have, still have to do under the guards. And um, look at the Grand Tour restoration um, workshop and um, looking at this GT, they're restoring in Tango Orange, and I'm looking at their photos and awesome photos. Uh, but they've actually done burnt orange. In, um, inside the inside the here so I was thinking I might do the same and in the boot um, in the boot I'll do it all up in there as well see that's gonna be scuffed up that's epoxy so I used a, a Upol epoxy primer like this yes yeah, so they using the epoxy um, and then putting this over top is probably a good thing. Same um, branded product, so um, yeah. So I'll wrap it up. Wrap it up this video. Do expect to get this done today, but you you got to take the opportunity and do stuff as you can do it. So that's one less thing I I have to do now. Um, so what I'll do now is roll this car back over. Roll it back over, so I didn't get anything on where I didn't want to go so I want to go from black from black forward so I don't want to have like probably burnt orange from that back I guess yeah I'd have to back, burnt orange back um, I didn't do up in here I could do that later I'll probably end up using a paintbrush possibly and just put on it put it on thick on here if I want I don't know don't care whatever I'll just go with it now but yeah it's, it's one step closer to um getting a top coat so yeah Wrap it up for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, things are, are going to get real soon. Once I put the color on it, it's going to be... Um, I only have to think about the people who, who who find this on searching on YouTube and see this car, and it seems like it's just more body work, more body work, but it's just the way it is. And for me to keep doing updates, um, to keep everyone sort of happy with how it's progressing, yeah, it's, it's just how it's been. But, yeah, it's going to have color on it soon. So for anyone that um, might be interested in knowing what else I'm going to be doing on my channel, I'm going to do a, a, a grill restoration, taillight restoration, hood lining install. Got the hood lining already inside. Um, there's so much other things I'm going to do. It's going to be more, it's going to be less sort of bodywork shit and more in, like a variety of stuff. So, um, yeah. Also leave a few links in the description of the Eastwood, Eastwood Company, and following um, some of the videos of, um, yeah, just how I've learnt the fundamentals of spray painting and bodywork. It's, you don't take it as gospel, what's in it, but yeah, it gives you a good idea about the different types of products that are out there and how you're meant to use them and stuff, but yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, catch up.